Hello everyone and welcome to the Knit California podcast. My name is Leslie, I am Knit California here on YouTube and also over on Instagram and TikTok. And today we are ranking my spring hand knit wardrobe. Now that spring is fully here, I felt like this would be a great time to pull out all of my spring and summer knits and go through them. Uh, I really wanted to like think through and talk through how I'm feeling about them, how they fit into my current wardrobe just in general, and I thought it would be fun to rank them. So I saw this idea on Knitted by Whitney's channel. She ranked all of her 2022 knits at the beginning of this year, so that's where this like idea came from. But I'm really excited to go through this and see where they all stack up. Now, I've got my notes here, like I always do, so if you see me looking over here, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I do want to preface this by saying these are all of my personal opinions, okay? Most of my opinions have nothing to do with the pattern um, or the designers. It's really all based on like yarn choice, how these items fit me, and how they fit into my wardrobe. One of my big goals for 2023 is to wear my knits more often. I was finding last year that I had knit all of these things, but I wasn't actually wearing them on a day-to-day -day basis. So pulling out all of my spring and summer knits as the seasons change, number one, is a great way to remember all of my makes. Number two, it really helps me to talk through my current feelings on all of them. Number three is really helping to see if I actually am wearing them currently or think if I will be wearing them currently. And lastly, number four, if I don't see myself wearing them in the future, think through what I might want to do with them. So without further ado, let's get into it. I currently have seven spring slash summer tops in my hand knit wardrobe and we're going to talk through all of them starting with what I'm wearing right now. This is the Dive Tee by We Are Knitters and I knit this in the Pima Cotton, also by We Are Knitters, in the colorway Dark Copper. So as we go through all of these, I'm going to talk through fit yarn composition, color, how it's held up since I finished knitting it, do I see myself actually reaching for it in my wardrobe, and the rating. I'm going to give all of these a rating out of 10, um, and at the end we'll see, based on those ratings, how they're all ranking compared to each other. So, this one. Dive Tea. This was the very first summer top that I ever knit. This was like, I had knit a couple like chunky cardigans, a chunky sweater, I crocheted this like swim cover up, and then this was the first top that I ever knit. And yes, it's from We Are Knitters, so it was a kit. It came with the needles, it came with the yarn, it came with the pattern, it was knit flat and then seamed all together, um, which I did pretty well. Um, but let's start with the fit. So overall, I think the fit is good. It's not like cropped. I think the length is really nice. It's not too long. It's not too short. Um, ease wise, it's got a good amount of positive ease, but it's not too over the top. I think it fits really nicely. The one thing that I would say about the fit is in respect to the sleeves. Since this was knit flat, it's basically just like a giant rectangle with these holes for the sleeve, and then you pick up, you knit like, you gotta knit this um, like open round, and then you knit like one or two more rounds, and then you go into the ribbing. And the other thing is that like the arm hole opening is pretty large. Like 
I have <laughs> relatively like large arms uh, for like my body size and there's a good like still half of the armhole uh, like underneath where my arm ends. I don't know if I explained that correctly but they're very large armholes um, and the way that they land when they are complete, when they're, when I'm when they're complete, when like I'm sitting and my arms are down, you can see that it like flares out a little bit. And if you are looking at it from the side, the sleeve ends like right where the widest part of my bicep is. And so you can see that. And it's just like not the most flattering sleeve look. I think if I were to knit this again I would want to probably do like short rows so that this came down to like here and was like a more flat sleeve or like came down more and maybe make it smaller do some like shaping so that it wasn't this like huge sleeve so that's the piece on the fit that I would want to change the most. Um, I think this is a really interesting top with the open stitch V in the front and it is in the back as well. Um, you have to be careful. You can get some like cleavage shots uh, <laughs> depending on how you're wearing it. But overall I do like the fit. It is comfortable. Let's talk about yarn composition. So this was knit out of the cotton from We Are Knitters, which is a 100% Pima cotton. Um, overall, I like the yarn with a huge caveat that this is like a worsted weight cotton. And so in general, it just feels really thick and it feels really heavy. And I don't necessarily like that feeling for a summer garment. For spring, I think it's okay. Your temperatures typically maybe aren't as hot in the spring months versus the summer months, but once it starts getting, you know, over 70, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, um, the weight of this and the thickness of it like becomes too much. The color. I really like this color. Again, this is called Dark Copper and it's this like rusty red, brown, orange um, and I think it's just a really great color. This color also is really nice for transitioning into the fall at the end of summer. All of those oranges come out at that time and so that's probably when I actually find myself wearing this more um, is when all of these like dark rusty orange colors come into play. I also love that this is knit in just a solid color yarn. Um, one of the positives about this being yarn from like a bigger company like We Are Knitters um, is there isn't any variegation or variation in the yarn color like all of this was from the same dye lot and so I really like that I think that fits nicely into my wardrobe of like how I want uh, my clothes to be what colors I want my clothes to be and so I really like that how has it held up so I knit this uh, I finished it in July of 2021, so that's almost two years ago now, and you can probably see this has held up really, really well. I think that's another, sorry I got like a fuzz or something. I think that's another plus for this yarn is that like the stitches all look very even. There's not like any pilling at all. Let me see. Very, very, very like minimal pilling under the arms, which is where you would likely start to see any pilling. And we'll see on some of my other garments that have started to pill. Um, but this has felt up, uh, this has held up really, really nicely. Do you see yourself reaching for it? Yes, however, it's not my favorite. Again, with the sleeve um, fit and just like with the detail in general, I don't really find myself wanting to wear this to work. Um, like I could wear an undershirt under this and like it would be fine, the cleavage issue would be fine, but 
I don't know like yes I reach for it when I want to be comfortable um, I would wear this just like hanging out around the house if we're like doing a barbecue in the backyard if we're going to a neighbor's house maybe if we're going out to dinner like I do see places and occasions that I can see myself wearing this and that I have worn this um, but it's definitely not my like go-to item that I grab for or reach for. So overall, what is the rating out of 10? I actually rate this an 8 out of 10. It's definitely above average and overall I like it, but it does lose some points for the yarn thickness, the yarn weight, and the fit issues with the sleeve. My second spring garment that we're going to talk about is my souffle tee. This is a pattern by Laura Penrose at Penrose Knits and the yarn that I use to knit this is Lang Lace Mohair in the colorway Bright Pink. Alright, so let's talk first about the fit. Um, overall, the fit is good, however, this uh, shirt top did end up a little bit tighter because of my gauge than it was supposed to be. Uh, the mohair yarn is like not super stretchy um, and it is a little bit cropped. Now it is meant to be cropped but the bind off at the very bottom is a little bit tight and so just in general it's a little bit more of a closer fitting garment than maybe what I would be a little bit comfortable with. In general I would prefer that it have a little bit more room especially at the bind off edge at the bottom. When I look at though the yoke, I think the yoke fits really nicely and when I look at the sleeves, the sleeves fit really nicely as well um, and they're not super tight like some other top sleeves are. Short sleeves. Short sleeve top sleeves are. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. Um, the yarn composition. So this is a 100% uh, mohair, I guess it's like a, it's a mohair silk blend, but it's all mohair. There isn't like anything else held with it. So, it's very fun and it's very fuzzy, but it's also very hot. And this is not something that I can wear, especially outside, in anything over like 70, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The color. <laughs> I mean, come on. What are we going to say bad about this color? It's hot pink. It's bright pink. It's hot pink. I absolutely love this color. Um, it's bold and it stands out and it's really, really fun. How has it held up? I finished this in April of 2022, so exactly a year ago, and it has held up really nicely. Um, I really like this yarn. It's one of my favorite mohairs. Um, I have like after using it for this project, I have since used it on multiple other sweaters, like holding it double with another yarn. Um, and this mohair holds up really, really nicely. There is a tiny bit, there's a tiny bit of pilling under the arms, but like it's not super noticeable at all. Um, so it's held up really well. Do you see yourself reaching for this piece? Yes, but with the caveat, this is definitely more of an occasion piece, an occasion top. I don't really just like wear this to hang out around the house. This is something that I reach for for like, you know, a special fancier outfit. I've worn this on Easter, I've worn this on my birthday, I've worn this like going out in Vegas, um, I've worn it going out to dinner, but it's definitely like a special occasion top and it's really not something that I reach for to wear to work um, mostly because of the like sheer panel here at the top um, and it's definitely not something that I reach for to wear just like around the house. So what would you rate this? Overall I give this a 7 out of 10 rating. It's definitely above average, I love wearing it, but it does lose some points for not being able to wear it in like warmer weather. 
I know that is the nature of mohair, that's the nature of what, how this was designed, um, but if I'm thinking about it in terms of like how it fits into my spring and summer wardrobe, I can't just wear this all the time, especially if it's going to be really, really hot out. Um, but I do love it for that occasion piece. I think it's really fun. Next up, we've got same same but different. This is the summer souffle pattern also by Laura Penrose at Penrose Knits. I knit this out of Lion Brand's Kobu yarn which is a cotton bamboo blend in the colorway denim. All right so let's talk about fit. I purposefully knit this a little bit oversized. I think I went up a size in the pattern. It is supposed to be more form-fitting with like almost almost no positive ease. I think it's supposed to be like zero to one inches of positive ease. Um, I wanted this to be a little bit more oversized. However, and this goes into the yarn composition as well, this yarn is a cotton bamboo blend. Um, it wasn't a super fun yarn to knit with. It was a little bit splitty. Honestly, it's not one that I would recommend going forward. Um, and the yarn itself is heavy. And what that means is just from like wearing it, just from having it like hang, it has stretched a lot. Like the amount of positive ease that it has now compared to the amount of positive ease it had when I finished this back in July of last year is more it is more now because it has stretched out the neckline also has stretched out a bunch and i feel like even pulling that was probably a bad idea um but it started out you know probably closer to here and now when i put it on it's out to here the other thing about the yarn is it's just really thick in general again it's closer to that like worsted dk or worsted cotton yarn weight and so that thickness and that heaviness of it just makes me not want to reach for it on a super super hot summer day the bamboo does give it a little bit of like lightness and if you feel it it like feels like a cooler fabric especially compared to like merino or like the 100% cotton, but the heaviness and thickness again just makes me not want to reach for it. Like when it's really hot outside, I want something like thin. I want like not a lot of material on my body and like this is a lot of material on my body. The color, I like the color. It's very summery. I am a blue person. It looks good with blue shorts. I know this would look good with my new like white linen pants. Um, so I do have things that I can wear this with in my wardrobe. How is it held up? Again, I knit this, uh, I finished knitting it in July of 2022 last year. Honestly, hasn't held up the best. Like I said, it's stretched out a lot. There is a lot of pilling. Um, I mean, you can see my armpit hole right there, but there is a lot of pilling on it, especially on the back too. It almost looks like it's starting to felt just from like wearing it and like sitting in it, uh, which is not something that you really want from your hand knit garments. Like you don't want them to felt and pill just from, you know, normal wear. Like that's not fun at all. That's not fun at all. Do you see yourself reaching for it? I really want to like I see this and I'm like oh I love that pattern I really like that color and then I remember like oh it's gonna be heavy oh it's stretched out a lot oh I don't know if I really want to wear that right now and so I find myself really not reaching for this as much as some of the other items in my closet so what do we rate this I rated this a 6 out of 10. Again, it's be above average because I really do love this pattern, um, but it's only a 6 because of all those reasons I talked about before. I really would love to knit this again. The recommended yarn in the pattern is Knitting for Olive's Cotton Merino, which is one that I'm really interested in trying. I haven't tried it yet. Um, and I do worry about that yarn like not being very suitable for really really hot days um, but I do think if I knit this again I would want it to be in that yarn and I would knit it like to gauge in the pattern so that it was a little bit uh, tighter in terms of like the amount of positive ease so that is my summer souffle 
Next up is my cottagecore crop. This is a pattern by Kate at Mezzo Makes, and the yarn that I use for this is Sorella yarn in her Stellina base, which is a merino nylon Stellina yarn in the colorway Sleeping Beauty's Castle. I don't know if you can tell just from my face from putting this on. I love this top. I absolutely love the fit of it. This is probably one of my best fitting tops in my wardrobe. I think the ruffles are really fun. I think the peplum at the bottom is really fun. I added like one or two extra inches of length in the body so that it's still cropped but it's not like super cropped. Um, I can wear this with like all of the pants and shorts that I have in my wardrobe. Um, I like the neckline. I think this is really flattering. It's not like too deep for me uh, and I think the like buttons in the front are really really cute I have considered sewing this down because there is the possibility for it to like come undone but we haven't gotten there yet I haven't gotten to the point where I felt like I've really needed to do it but it is something in the back of my mind yarn composition so this is a merino nylon blend like I said um, I do like Okay, I like this yarn. It blocked out beautifully. I don't know if you saw my videos, my reels on this. This was like so like curled up, like especially the arms and stuff with the ruffles. It was all like really curled up and then when I blocked it, it just like opened up and it was beautiful. But because this is a merino, like mostly merino yarn, I think it's like an 80... 8015.5. Again, I can't really wear this when it's too hot out. Um, it is mostly wool, and the climate that I live in, like Southern California, gets up to over 100 degrees here in the summer. I can't be outside wearing wool. So I do really want to at some point knit this up in like a cotton linen blend, a silk blend, uh, more of like a summery fiber so that I can wear this pattern more often. I can wear this like indoors in the spring and summer like if I'm staying in the air conditioning but if I'm going outside it's really a no-go. I actually wore this last year at the end of May. Um, there's a blueberry field in Temecula in my town and we went to go pick blueberries and we were outside in the sun for probably like 20 to 30 minutes that's really all it was and I was wearing this like trying to be all cute I was like oh blue and purple it matches the blueberries right well we got home and I had to like immediately take it off I had to shower <laughs> And I had to lay down because I had like way overheated. It was not good. Do not recommend. Uh, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's this yarn for you. Um, color. All right, so I like the color. Um, you know, this yarn is gorgeous in general. Um, I am getting to the point though where I do prefer more like tonals or solids for my tops. I think sweaters I can still get away with some like variegated pieces but like summery tops I don't it's just like a lot going on is really what it is. Um, and there's definitely a part in here you can kind of see where I switch skeins where like the top is more purple the bottom is more blue um, and it's just something that I would like to avoid like going forward in the future. How is it held up? So I finished this in May of last year and it's held up really well. That is one of the positives of a merino nylon blend yarn. You know, that's what most people use for socks. It holds up really, really nicely. So there's very minimal pilling under the arms. There's no felting anywhere. Uh, so overall, it's held up really nicely. Do you see yourself reaching for it? Yes, I do. I reach for this one quite often um, just to like wear around the house, to go out to dinner, um, stuff like that. I have not worn this one to work yet. I think the low cut neckline and just the like potential for the buttons to come undone, this isn't really one that I would want to wear to work very often. I am interested in making, so Kate from Mezzo Makes also has the Brookline blouse, which is a very, very similar pattern um, but it's knit in the round and so it does not have the button band here it's just fully 
in the round. Um, I do have yarn to make that and I really would like to make that this year and I do think that one could be more work appropriate. So it's in my queue, it's on my list. Okay, so what do we rate this? I rate this one an 8 out of 10. It's definitely above average. It's so comfortable and I love wearing it. The couple points that I knocked off are due just to like the variegation in the yarn and how that's not really my style anymore and not being able to wear it in the hot summer heat. I haven't worn this one in a long time and we'll talk about why. Alright, so next up on the list, this is my Moonset Tee by Ozetta, and the yarn that I knit this in is Sorella Yarn uh, Classic Sock Base in the colorway Velvet. This is one of the fall tonal colorways. Let's start by talking about fit. Um, overall, I'm not a huge fan of the fit. So, I started knitting this in December of 2021. In December of 2021, I did not still understand fit, gauge, positive ease, all of that stuff. And so I knit this with the recommended needle size in the pattern, recommended yarn for the size that it said I should make, and overall the fit is just like not good. It's a little bit too tight uh, compared to how I want it and how it looked in the pattern. The arms are pretty tight. I mean, it's a merino nylon yarn, so it stretches, so like that's not an issue, um, but it's just like not super flattering uh, for the sleeves to like be this tight. It's just tight over my bust and it's tight in the hips and the bottom hem is just an I cord, so it kind of like rolls up a little bit. Overall, it's not what I wanted it to be and it's also not really at all made to pattern um, because this pattern does recommend the Knitting for Olive Pure Silk yarn and I used a merino yarn which is very very different. The two yarns have very different properties um, and I knit it at a much smaller gauge than what is called for in the pattern. So again, my feelings on this it's not the pattern's fault. It's all my fault and the choices that I made. So, just gotta throw that out there uh, ahead of time because I do think this is a really great pattern. I see a lot of people knit the Moonset tee and it looks amazing, um, but I did not do it correctly. So, we're gonna start there. Yarn composition. Again, this is a merino yarn. Uh, I've said this about almost all of my other uh, spring and summer patterns that I have over there. Uh, I just can't wear it when it gets too hot. Like, I'm gonna overheat. I can wear it indoors in the air conditioning, but I can't wear it outside when it gets to be 70 degrees, 80 degrees, or above Fahrenheit. Um, the color. I do like the dark blue, um, but this is a tonal yarn, and it's very, very obvious that the three skeins that I had were from different dye lots. Uh, you can't really see it Air, if I go like this, um, you know, I'm just gonna put a picture. It's very obvious that the skeins were from different dye lots. There is some striping where I started to alternate skeins to change skeins. Um, there's some color pooling stripes. You can definitely see on the arm here too, there's some stripes. And like, that's really not what I wanted. Like, I wanted a. I guess I wanted more of a solid color. I thought this would be like a really, really nice like summer to fall color, um, but I really don't like the variegation on it at all. So it's a little bit of a bummer, I'm not gonna lie. And I talked about this in like my finished object podcast. If you wanna hear a little bit more about it, you can go back uh, to last year. I finished this in August of 2022, so you can go back to that if you are interested in hearing more. Um, how is it held up? Again, finished this in August, so I've had a few months of it. I really haven't worn it very much, but this is a merino nylon yarn, so again, it's held up really nicely. I haven't had any issues, no pilling or anything like that. Do you see yourself reaching for it? I've kind of already answered that. The answer is no. I don't reach for this. Um, just with the fit issues and with the striping and color pooling, 
it's not something that I reach for at all in my closet. And I actually kind of forgot that I had this. <laughs> uh, when I started to think about this video, I was like thinking through all of my spring knits and when I pulled the pile out earlier this morning, I was like, oh, I totally forgot about this top. So I'm sure that tells you a lot. So what did we rate this? I rated this a four out of 10. Look, I can't just give it like a one or a zero. I do really like the pattern, like, but it's definitely below average. It's got a lot of issues that I talked through before. Again, all my fault for the choices that I made and not the pattern's fault at all. I would really like to make this again. If I did, I would want to do it in the recommended yarn, with which is the knitting for all of pure silk in a larger size slash actually meeting gauge and I do think it could fit much better in my wardrobe if we did that. All right, we are on to the penultimate top. This is my Thea top. Pattern is by Suzanne Muller and the yarn that I use for this is Sandness Garn Line. Lina? I think it's Line, um, in the colorway beige. This is a cotton linen viscose blend yarn. Uh, and let's start with the fit. Overall, the fit is okay. It's pretty good. Um, it's got a decent amount of positive ease. The one thing that I will say about the fit is the, the front is like a little bit shorter than the back. And I think that just might have to do with like the amount of room that like my chest takes up. Um, so that's one thing. And the other thing is just the thickness of these straps here. Um, I think it's just because I made a larger size. In the pattern photos, they look a little bit smaller. And so, I don't know. I just think like it looks really thick and it like goes out. Like, I just would, would like it to come in a little bit more. I think it would have given a more flattering shape on my shoulders. Yarn composition. I love this yarn. This was a really nice yarn both to work with, it's really soft, and it's a really nice yarn to wear. So similar to the Lion Brand Kobu, that was the cotton bamboo yarn. Remember I said it was like kind of cool to the touch? This is a cotton bamboo viscose yarn, which is again, it's very cool to the touch, which is very nice for a like spring summer yarn and fabric. And I would I would love to use this yarn again for a project. I would, however, use it in a different color. I don't like this color on me. I think it looks too close to my skin tone. It almost looks like I'm not wearing anything at all. I think it makes me just like, like washes me out a little bit in the face. Um, and so I don't wear this very often mostly because of that reason. It just doesn't fit very well into my wardrobe because I don't really like the way that the color looks on me. How has it held up? I finished this in June of last year and it's held up really nicely. Uh, I have no, I have had no issues with the yarn and I haven't had any pilling um, under the arms or anywhere at all on this sweater. So yarn has held up great. Do you see yourself reaching for it? Again, no, not really, pretty much all because of the color. I do like try to reach for it and like really try to make this work in my wardrobe. I got a lot of compliments when I finished this sweater last year and a lot of people said like, no, it looks fine, it looks fine, blah, 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 blah. And so like, I try to wear this sometimes, but ultimately I end up taking it off and putting something else back on because it's, it's not, what I want. And that's the end of that. So how would you rate this? I rated this a 6 out of 10. Um, it is above average, like I don't hate it overall, but because of the color um, and because of the straps being too wide, ultimately I just like don't wear it very often. And last but certainly not least, you know we couldn't do a spring summer top ratings without my most recently finished object. This is my Ranunculus by Midori Hirose and the yarn that I use for this is Sorelli Yarns Silk DK in the colorway Pampas. Let's talk about the fit. I love it. Um, I have a whole 
finished object video on this from only a couple weeks ago if you want to hear me talk about my ranunculus but overall I love it um, I did I made this with slightly well not slightly this pattern in general calls for like a lot of positive ease um, and I made this like much closer fitting to my body and I really like the way it turned out it is also a little bit cropped. I do think I could have gone for like another inch or two in the body, but it does work pretty well with like high-waisted pants and stuff, so I'm okay with it for now. Yarn composition. This is a 50% merino, 50% silk. So you know how I feel about the merino uh, finished objects that we've already talked about. This one is different. That 50% silk really does wonders for it. This was a really nice yarn to knit with. Um, it was a little bit slippery on my metal needles, but like, I'd rather take that than using wooden needles any day. That's who I am. I'm not going to apologize for it. Um, but yeah, this is another one of those yarns that is just like cool to the touch. So I was wearing this last weekend. We were sitting outside. I was in the shade, but it was definitely like 80, 85 degrees. And I had this on. I had my new Old Navy linen white pants on. And I was really impressed with this yarn. I kept thinking like, man, I could be like wearing wool and be like way, way hotter and be overheating right now. But that 50% silk is really keeping me cooler than I would be in another hand knit item. So I was really happy with this yarn and how this turned out. Um, actually, I also purchased more of this yarn, the silk, sock base so this is a dk base it's the same 50 percent merino 50 percent silk in a fingering weight base and i purchased more of that in the last sorella update so i'm excited to get that at some point later this year and try something out in that thinner base the color i love this color um this olivey green color i think looks really nicely on me i have other shirts in my wardrobe in this color so i knew i would like it um the this this one is a tonal yarn. There is a slight variation, you know, in the tones of this color, um, but there was not huge differences between the three skeins that I had, and that has made all the difference. I did not have to alternate skeins at all when I knit this, um, and you cannot tell where one skein ended, the other skein began, and just it's much more even across the whole piece that I absolutely love that's the way to do it. How is it held up? Well, I just finished knitting this last, well, what are we saying? It's still technically April. I just finished knitting this this month, a couple weeks ago. Um, so I don't have like a whole lot of data to talk you through how it's held up. I've worn this like five times since I finished it. I will say I am already starting to see a little bit of pilling under the arms. I think that's just the nature of silk maybe. And it does snag very easily, which is something that is different for from my, you know, 8020 merino nylon blend yarns so just something to keep in mind and something that I keep an eye on is like trying not to let it get snagged or caught on anything do you see yourself reaching for this yes a million percent I want to wear this every single day with the high neckline I can wear this to work I can wear this hanging out around the house I can wear this going out anywhere it's visually appealing people are always like oh my gosh that looks so cool and I'm like I know this this was my first lace project isn't it awesome and they're like yeah um and it just fits really really nicely i absolutely love this piece so what did i rate it i gave this one a 10 out of 10 woohoo okay that was cheesy i'm sorry <laughs> Um, this is my favorite spring knit. This is my favorite spring knit so far. The pattern, the yarn choice, uh, the fit, all work like perfectly together for me, for what I want to wear this for, for when I want to wear it. So I love it. Going forward. I need to make more garments similar to this. So the things that I need to keep in mind, the fiber that I'm using, the pattern that I'm choosing, 
where I'm going to be able to wear that pattern to. For example, if I want to wear it to work, if I want to be able to wear it outside when it's really hot, got to keep all that in mind. And how is it going to fit into my wardrobe and like being paired with, you know, the pants that I've gotten recently, my jeans, my shorts, my skirts, all those, all those sorts of things. So, yay, my ranunculus. I love it. So, Last thing here, let's look at all of the seven patterns that I've made and see how they rank compared to each other. So this is their final ranking. Uh, I guess we should go last to first. I mean, you know what first is. But in last place is my Moonset tee. Honestly, I haven't really thought about what I want to do with this until right now, but I might frog this and reclaim the yarn, maybe make some hats with it. I had three skeins of fingering weight yarn. I think that yarn from my Moonset tee might make a really, might make some really good hats. Oh my gosh. Tied for fifth place based on my ratings are my Summer Souffle and my Thea Top. These were both two that I mentioned. I don't really reach for them that often, whether it was because of the yarn choice or because of the color. So they're filling out the bottom of my ranking roster. In fourth place, right in the middle, is my hot pink souffle. Again, I really like this pattern, but it's not something that I can wear all the time. It is my occasion piece, but it's not something that I would ever want to get rid of right now from my wardrobe. We have a tie for second place, and that goes to my dive tee and my cottagecore crop. Both of these I really love. Both of these I wear on a sort of regular basis. We'll see at the end of the spring summer how often I actually ended up wearing all of these tops. Um, and I'll definitely be coming back to you with a video talking about that. Um, but these are the two that are tied for second place. And lastly, first place goes to my ranunculus, my 10 out of 10. We love it. I love it. I think you guys loved it as well. I think I might have convinced like 10 people to make a ranunculus after sharing this one. So uh, I'm really happy with it. And again, I want to make more tops similar to this for my spring and summer wardrobe. Uh, really to replace those ones that were on the bottom of this ranking um, so that I have more tops that I actually want to wear. So that's it. I would love to hear you comment down below which of these tops is your favorite and which one you would rank a 10 out of 10. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It would really, really help me out. And thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I'll be back next week with another regular podcast episode. I'm making some progress on my test knit. Uh, hopefully I'll have a lot more to show you next week. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you get some time to knit today and I will see you next week. Bye!